shows up. Like I said, I'm not sure if any of that works. Alright, so, but do you want to do the blue outline first, or do you want to do that last like we did before? Last. last. Okay, so let's cover up the blue. And let's get the green. So first thing with the green, you want to spray it. Oh, here, you want to spray it. Very good. Very good. See, you're going to have a heads up on all the other kids in class. You're going to go, I know what I'm doing. I have worked with a professional artist before. Okay, so which brush do you think we should use first? Let's get let's get that pointer brush out. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right, the pointer brush. Get your cloth and dry it off. And let's get a little bit of the green. Let's get some bright green. Let's make it a little bit brighter. You want to? Because they don't have to be identical. Let's do the inside petals. So just bring some of that on each petal. And we're defining what the petal is. Or where the petal is. Very good. I think one day I'm going to do an all dog hair picture. That way I can just have a good excuse for why my, all my dog hairs are getting on my paintings. <laughs> See, this is a dog hair picture. Alright, so what's the next color you think we should use? More yellow? Go oh, dark green. Alright, go for it. Okay, so you want some dark green coming from the stem? More coming from the center. I've got to stop saying stem. Very nice. You see how you're pushing it away from you. Very good. All right. Remember to rinse all the excess paint off of your brush, mix it around, and then dry it on your cloth. Now this green, you might want to try this. This is a blue green. Remember how that aqua blue showed a little bit of green? This shows a little bit of blue. So you can actually take this and do an outline of the petals. See how there's a little bit of blue in there. Very good outlining. Now remember when you outline before, after you do the outline, then you bring it down to create a line for each petal. So each petal, you can see where each petal is. Let's do this outline a little bit more. Alright, so you ready for the drip method, the slow drip? Let's go ahead and we'll spray the whole thing. Just one quick spray. And then we go in the center and do a little bit more. Now we let that soak in. You see how it's soaking in? It's actually separating a little bit of the paint. Remember how we picked it up? Now with this, because there's a little bit more water on here, let's get our cloth. And don't touch the paint, but dry the outside areas so that way the water knows not to go on those areas. That's okay, you can dig it on in. Because most of this canvas is dry, we can actually have a little bit more of a space that we can touch on. So this area is dry, so the water knows not to really go into that area. So now you can pick it up and you can swish it around like you did before. Be very slow. See where it's going? See that? Isn't that kind of neat? What we need is a little bit of a lighter color. So let's get a little bit of a lighter color. You want to get, let's see, a 
me get some white. Here we go. I'm going to take this white. That way we get a clear white. And I'm going to just give you a little block right there. So now you need to pull, pull that extra part into the center. There we go. Now try not to mix, mix it in. Just kind of move the blob around a little bit. Just move the blob. There you go. Very good. Okay. Now that you've got it a little mixed in the water, you can put your brush back in the water. Now pick it up and slowly move that around. Here, let's spray it just a little bit. Sometimes what I do is I make a little hole or um, like a little bit of a cavern. And I just spray the center. And just give it a second. Give it a second to soak, soak in some of the water. You can speed up that process by just barely swishing it around. Okay, now, go ahead. Give it a good deep angle. Let it drip. There you go. That, that's what's called abstraction, is where you take something that's, that you can tell what it is, and then you take the parts of it that you like the best, and you create an abstraction from it. Now remember your painter finger? You can go back into that middle, and you can pull that white around. There you go. You can actually pull that white a little bit more and pull it out towards the petals. Kind of pop it. Just go plop, 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 plop. And if it's too much paint, you can take the cloth and you can scoop it up. You can dab it all up. What? Uh. <laughs> he will definitely get a hold of everything. Okay, now let's go back. Remember how we had to go back and define our flower? So let's go back. And we've got a little bit of white there in the center. So we know that's the center. Now we're going to get a little bit more dark. Let's get this blue-green again. Let's go back over it and do the outline again. <laughs> Excuse me. Doing good. Sometimes in art you have to go back over things over and over and over again. It's all a part of the process. Now that excess paint that you've got, you can actually put it back over here. Just do it on the side. Just spin your brush on the side. There you go. Now we're going to pull this over so we can see the petals. in a little bit. Define each petal. Bring that color around. Now you want to bring a little bit more yellow into it. Clean up your brush first because we've got a lot of dark paint on the brush. And this is yellow green so you try and get into the yellow not as much of the green. Oh, watch out, you're getting your hair in it. Pull your hair back behind you. There you go. Otherwise, you'll end up with lots of paint on the tips of your hair. I've done that before. When my hair was longer, I'd go out somewhere and I'd paint on the tips. And I'd go, why is your hair white? And I'd go, ah, painting my hair again. So let's start here. I'm just going to add a few clops. Right, get some more yellow. Anytime you get too much green on your brush, just clean your brush off. Just clean it all the way off and start off with new yellow. 